Hey guys, Donnie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have the new toy drone from Pontensic. This is the Elfin. It's a little uh, mini uh, brushed quadcopter. Uh, it's supposed to have a 2K camera on this one. Optical flow, you can see the camera on the bottom. It does come with two batteries, a nice little hard case. You got the controller here. Like I said, extra battery, which is only a 1S battery. It's 3.7 volt, 1100 milliamps. So you're supposed to get around 10 minutes of flight with this. So you have a uh, charger here. And this one's just a pin charger. You'll just plug right in here to charge it. You can plug it into your computer or a wall adapter. I usually use my iPhone little wall adapter. Works pretty good for this one. Um, you do have propeller guards, extra set of propellers, and of course a screwdriver uh, to be able to open the back, which I already did. Pontensic supplies three AAA batteries, which is nice, so you don't have to buy any batteries for this. They went ahead and supplied them for you. Uh, pretty basic controls. You got trim buttons here. This is to calibrate the gyros. This is your on and off button. One key takeoff, one key land. This is your emergency stop, guys, so if you end up holding that down it will stop the motors and it will drop wherever it is flying you got your camera record button here you got your picture button your speed rate which you have three rates of speed you got headless mode here and then here's your phone holder I'll be using the iPhone uh, uh, X today for this one so we'll see how that goes it doesn't have a memory card so guys it will be recording to your mobile device so we'll have to see how that comes out um, you know these are foldable so which makes it pretty nice so you want to fold the top there first and then the bottom and then you can put it in your little uh, carrying case here which is nice so it does come with that and this just fits in here that way you can go and then you can put your accessories and stuff in this top zipper. Um, this one here, the on and off button is actually right here in the back, this white light that lights up. And then get the battery out, just push down on there and the battery comes right out and you can slide it back in. Make sure it clamps in there, guys. So, but that's basically it. Um, got your owner's manual here, which will uh, tell you which app to use uh, to be able to get the image on here for the Wi-Fi FPV which is only 2.4 gigahertz. So uh, any mobile device should work. It's the Pontensic Toy app. So it's a new app that they have on iOS or Android, guys. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing out. We're gonna take it for a test flight. So if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that like and subscribe button and definitely hit the notification so you can see what's coming up next on Big Drone Flyer 77 RC. All right, guys, let's go take this for a flight. Stay tuned for that. All right, guys, I'm out here with uh, Pontendic's new uh, Elfin little mini drone here. It's uh, their latest toy model here. So it's supposed to be shooting in uh, 2K, as I mentioned in the unboxing. So we're going to test it out here, just out here in my apartment complex and see what this thing can do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on. And there's just a little button right here on the side in the back here. So I'm going to turn on the drone. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the controller. All right, we're gonna bind it up, down. All right, it's bound. So I'm gonna go into Wi-Fi uh, as soon as I start my screen recording here. There's a screen recorder going. And let's turn on the Wi-Fi. See if we can get this connected to Wi-Fi. All right, there's Pontensic. Apologize for the yard work going on. But they're working on the complex here so okay let's get that connected that is connected now so let's go to Pontensic toy all right press ok go to connect all right so we are connected all right so I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate this by pressing this button here I'm gonna set the speed rate I should have it in the third rate there's two three since we got a little bit of wind I don't want to uh, put it in a low rate and have this thing fly away you don't want to go more than three mile an hour wind so that's what Pontensic recommends to stay under three miles an hour of wind and keep it within 50 meters which i would recommend a lot shorter than that uh, so kind of reminds me of a little dji tello is what this reminds me of let me go ahead and take this thing up let's arm uh go ahead and fire up the motors inside all right let me go ahead and start the film 
Uh, do we need to I'm gonna go ahead and trim it and bring it back here trim it back again back a little more it's drifting forward all right let's see how that goes here all right maybe a little bit more here's the trim button here now to the left a little bit here there we go all right let's see what this thing looks like here yeah not too bad go up a little bit so you can see me here we are supposed to be shooting in 2k and there is no sd card guys so it's going to film straight to your uh, mobile device so it is uh, 2.4 gigahertz so you don't have to worry about having 5g on this one a zippy little guy it stops pretty good so yeah the barometer works pretty good all right I'm just kind of fly it around check it out here yeah pretty fast in third rate let's go ahead and bring it down to uh first rate here let's go ahead and yaw it's pretty slow in first rate let me bring this back so you can see that's all the way back there we go so it's pretty slow in first rate let's go to second rate a little bit faster there a little more pitch and third rate should give it quite a bit of pitch yeah quite a bit of pitch and let's see the the yaw on this so yeah not too bad so yeah just a fun little flyer it's got the camera on there so that way you can film a little bit while you're flying so still just pretty much a beginner's drone for someone that's just starting out you see the winds pushing it a little bit you can't see the breeze but it is a really light breeze right now so it will make it float away a little supposed to fly for about 10 minutes it does come with the two batteries like i showed in the unboxing so yeah so far not too bad it's not too loud sounds like a little sounds like a little uh, batch of angry bees but it's not too bad so far the wi-fi is doing okay i may want to go and bring it back down and adjust that uh, trim again so to do that you can just land it hold it down it stopped press this little uh, button here all right let's start that again let's see one key uh take off let's see what that does there we go one key takeoff works pretty good yeah that's a little bit better all right yeah it's gonna buzz it around a little bit let's see if i bring this up if i can film a little bit up here see what you guys could see with this i don't want to go too far because i don't want to fly away see if we could see the next door there you can i don't want to go up much higher because i don't know this drone yet so so not too bad i'm gonna go ahead and stop the film bring it back down face over this way here all right Let's see if i could take a a picture here bring it back over here Let's see if i could take a snapshot here there's a picture we turn around there's another picture go up a little bit more take one here all right i'm gonna go ahead and start the film it says it's recording so that's good so yeah you probably could fly this indoors i would just keep it in low rate but you're gonna definitely need a little bit of area because it is pretty zippy guys so um you know i don't want to see anybody hitting any uh walls or anything so i'm gonna bring this down for a second i got someone leaving here so let me pause you and i'll be right back here bring this down stop the film be right back guys all right my car just left so let me bring this back up see if i can go and stop the film and i want to see if the gesture modes work for taking pictures see if i can get me in here I'm supposed to be able to go like this let me back up a little bit here starting to float towards me here Let's see if i can get a picture here there we go it says it's supposed to be snapping a shot there 
All right, let's see if I can go and do recording. Let me back up a little bit here. Kind of hard to do when you got a breeze going. Let's see if I can get it to start recording. There we go. Getting ready to film. And there's the film. Okay, so hand gestures do work, guys. That's pretty cool. At least that works. So the hand gestures do work. That's that's definitely a plus. You get a lot of these drones from other companies and try to do the hand gestures and they just don't work. Just more of a gimmick. But this one actually takes the pictures and starts to film with the hand gestures. So peace sign for the uh, snapshot and uh, full handout like you're like you're uh, gonna stop and then that will go and start the film. Let's see if that shuts it off as well. Let me go ahead and bring it over here. Bring it back, turn around here. All right, let me get out of the sun here. All right, let's see if I can get this thing to stop filming. That wind starts to blow this thing around again. All right, let me bring it up here again. All right, let's see if I can get it to stop. I might be a little too close here. I guess that ain't gonna stop it. Oh well, at least it works to start it. Yeah, that's be a pretty fun drone for someone that's just starting out, wants to go and fly it around. I like to check out the video once this is done. And I put this, uh, I get this all edited. I like to see what this video is going to look like. I don't think it's going to be 2K. Maybe the pictures might be 2K resolution, but we'll have to find out when I throw it in the editor. But yeah, not too bad of a little drone. It's a good little flyer, guys. I like this one. This would be good for traveling stuff, especially with it's got a little carrying case and everything you guys seen on the unboxing. And like I said, it does come with two batteries, so at least you'd be able to fly for at least uh, almost 20 minutes or so. Claims 10 minutes or so of flight time per battery, so I'll have to check it out here. Let's see, does it have any more options here? I'm sure it does, yeah, point of interest and stuff. I'm not gonna do that here. I have to wait till I can get out into a field because I don't want it to land into a tree over here. Yeah, if you're looking for a good little uh, flyer, just to fly around in the yard, backyard and stuff, this one is definitely a good one. Like I said, you can see it's it's pretty fast little drone. It breaks okay, and it is brushed, so yeah, it breaks really good. It definitely. Uh, the only time you're gonna have problems with that optical flow is uh, when you're probably over water or like sometimes over grass or maybe like striped uh, uh, painted uh, floor or something like that or something shiny is the only time you're gonna have problems with this uh, optical flow. But you can see it is working. So. Yeah, definitely optical flow is working because when I go forward and then I let off, so you can see how it jerks uh, straight back real quick because it's trying to stop with that optical flow on there. But so far, so good, guys. Not bad. Camera needs to be up a little bit more. Not too sure if I can adjust that up a little bit higher or not on this one. Maybe bring it down, see if I can. Let's see if I can fix that at all. If it goes up anymore. No, that's pretty much it. You could tilt it down just a little, guys, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, if the camera was up just a hair higher, you'd get more of a, you know, a more level shot. Right now it's still facing towards the ground quite a bit. So you have to have it up 
pretty high to be able to see like myself right here you can see how high up I have it just to be able to see myself so um, camera pitch needs to definitely be able to be adjusted up a hair higher I think we might be getting low on the battery there it goes okay so be careful with that the video stopped but once the battery is depleted and it just comes straight to the ground guys it doesn't float down very uh, good it just comes straight down so be careful uh, maybe time yourself or maybe fly over some grass until you can figure out you know a certain time maybe set a timer for like seven seven and a half maybe eight minutes so that way you could be lower to the ground that way it doesn't come crashing down and break something but you know it feels pretty heavy duty for a little drone i'm very surprised with this one it feels like a good quality made drone so all right guys there you go the pontensic elfin pretty good little drone for beginners you know i like it it's not too bad i'll i'll definitely leave a link down in the descriptions and uh guys definitely uh you know hit that like and subscribe button guys definitely hit the notification so you can see what's coming up next on big drone flyer 77 all right guys take care god bless